This is a short video uh, simply to demonstrate the different ways to write uh, the derivative of something. And so traditionally, if we're talking about the derivative, Leibniz used notations as f prime of x to signify that you're taking the function of x and is are taking the derivative of the function of x with respect to x. Another notation he used was dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, and in modern notation using function notation, you can say something like the derivative with respect to x of some function of x. All of these things mean the same thing. Okay, now, there were two people that developed calculus simultaneously. Now, Leibniz has, uh, as I've read the history books, Leibniz has uh, claimed uh, first publication. But historians are a little, eh, a little unsure as to whether or not he actually had the first set of differential and integral calculus. The other person, uh, Gottfried Leibniz was a German or Prussian. Uh, the other person was an Englishman by the name of Sir Isaac Newton. And in developing his theory of gravitation, he developed the calculus in his uh, Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. Okay. So, let's take a look at his. This, by the way, is Leibniz. L. Uh, Leibniz. I probably mixed up the E and the I. But, Newton, so these are Newtons. Newton worked something not with a derivative or differential, as this is sometimes called. He worked with something called a fluxion. Okay. The fluxion had this notation. Here's the difference. We typically in mathematics will stick to the Leibnizian notations. They're really easy to understand. However, the fluxion usually meant the derivative of x with respect to t time. And so if you wanted to express, say, the position of something, x is normally given as the position of something or the displacement. But if you wanted to talk about the change of displacement with respect to time, you would talk about the velocity. Okay, And then if you wanted to talk about um, the change in velocity with respect to time, you would talk about acceleration. And for each derivative, you would place another dot. This is Newtonian notation. We don't, this by the way is Leibnizian notation, but it's trying to describe what Newton did. The only time that this is really used is when it's a time derivative. And mathematicians shy away from Newton's for historic reasons more than anything. Um, and so because the prime doesn't look all that much different than the dot. Uh, so these are the two different uh, styles that you can see. All four. One, two, three, four different styles of, of uh, derivative notation.